Hi guys! In this lesson, I will explain with which symbols the basic circuit components used in electrical and electronic circuits are shown in the circuit diagram. In this video, you will find pictures and symbols of many circuit elements together. Also, at the end of the lesson, we will look at which circuit components are used by simply examining a circuit diagram. In electrical circuits, wires or paths on a board are represented as a straight line. If two wires converge, there will be a round dot at their junction. These are the nodes. If the wires are not joined together, this node will not be. Or it is shown as hopping. In this case, it means that the two cables or paths do not cross each other. Single cell batteries providing direct current are indicated by the above symbol. The long line represents the positive pole and the short line represents the negative pole. Batteries and accumulators formed by combining batteries are indicated by the symbol below. Power supplies that can deliver direct current are indicated by the above symbol. Instead of this symbol, symbols used for batteries and cells are also used. It would not be right to separate completely. The following symbol is used for alternating current sources. Depending on the shape of the generated signal, the sign sign in it may change. This symbol is generally used for fuses that protect circuits against high current. The current values that can provide maximum protection are written on them. If the current flowing through it exceeds a certain value, it explodes or melts, providing a safety. These are the symbols of the switches used to open and close the circuit. Both symbols are used depending on whether it is push or slide. While the above symbol is used for push-in types, the following symbol is used for slide ones. Grounding points are indicated by one of three symbols here. For some electronic circuits, this symbol is used for the zero volt value of the power supply. But for mains power and some radio circuits, this really means ground. It is also known as ground. The cables used for grounding are yellow-green. If an electrical circuit contains an incandescent lamp that emits light, it is indicated by one of these symbols. For example, the above symbol is used for a lamp that provides illumination, such as a car headlight or torch bulb, while the following symbol is used for a warning light on a dashboard. This symbol is used for heaters, also known as resistances, used in devices such as kettle that converts electrical energy into heat. If there is a motor in the circuit that converts electrical energy into motion energy, this is indicated by the circuit symbol. This circuit symbol is used for buzzers used for warning purposes in circuits by converting electrical energy into sound. This symbol is used for microphones that convert analog audio signals into electrical energy. This symbol is also used for speakers that convert electrical energy into sound. These symbols are used for fixed resistors that limit the current flow in the circuit. It is possible to encounter the use of both. It may differ according to the standards of the countries. The symbols here are used for adjustable resistors, such as potentiometer, trim pot, and rheostat. They are indicated by the arrow indicating that they are set on the fixed resistor symbol. The symbols here are used for the dependent resistor known with the abbreviation LDR, which is the abbreviation of the initials of the expression light dependent resistor. LDRs are also known as photoresistors. They are circuit elements that show low resistance in the light and high resistance in the dark. This symbol is used for coils or inductors formed by winding copper cables on ferromagnetic metals, such as iron, which create a magnetic field when current is flowed through them, which are used in a way for current storage, which generally has very good magnetic permeability. These symbols are used for the capacitor used to store the short-term voltage. They are formed by placing conductive plates on both sides of an insulating material. The left symbol is used for nonpolar capacitor used in AC circuits, while the middle symbol is used for polarized capacitors used in DC circuits. The one on the right is the symbol used for regulated capacitors. Antennas used to receive or transmit radio signals are shown in circuits with the symbol here. For voltmeters, ammeters, and ohmmeters used in voltage, current, and resistance measurement, they are indicated by symbols with their initials in circles. Voltmeter is connected in parallel, while ammeter is connected in series. Now let's look at some diode symbols. This is the symbol of the normal diode, which allows current to flow in one direction from the anode pin to the cathode pin in the circuit. 
The cathode pin has a white stripe. The symbol of LEDs, which we know as the abbreviation of the initials of the words light-emitting diode, is shown with arrows on the diode symbol, which indicates that it emits light. A laser diode is also a light-emitting diode. However, laser lights do not scatter, and they have features such as directionality. Its symbol is like this, and is drawn with arrows on the diode symbol, showing that it emits light. It is shown as three pins in the figure. A pin is common. This is the symbol for invisible infrared light-emitting diodes, known as infrared LEDs, and is the same as the normal LED symbol. Infrared LED is used in the controls of television, car, projection, and many other remote control devices. When we press any button of the remote, these diodes emit infrared lights that we cannot see with our eyes. Photodiodes are diodes that work with the reverse logic of LEDs. That is, in LEDs, light is produced when current flows through the diode, while in photodiodes, when infrared light falls on it, the diode conducts current. Its symbol is like this, and it is drawn on the symbol of the diode with arrows showing that it works when light comes on it. The panels used to generate electricity with solar energy are produced in the same way as photodiodes. Schottky diodes are used in computers, RF, and rectifier applications operating at high frequencies, which need high switching speed to respond to rapid changes in the direction of the current. While the voltage required for a normal silicon diode to flow current is about 0.7, this value is around 0.3 volts in these diodes. The symbol is like this. This symbol is used for the bridge diode used to convert alternating current in power supplies to direct current. It is a combination of four diodes in this way. In fact, it is a full-wave rectifier circuit assembled in a circuit component. The negative alternance of the sinusoidal wave at the input is rectified at the output, and the negative alternance is made positive on the load. This symbol is used for Zener diodes that keep the voltage applied to their pins constant. The straight line at the end of the normal diode symbol is shaped like the letter Z, which is the initials of the Zener here. They do not flow current up to a certain voltage value in the reverse direction. This voltage is called break or Zener voltage. When connected to the circuit in the right direction, it works like a normal silicon diode. Their color is usually orange, with a black stripe at the cathode tips. This symbol is used for varicap diodes that act as variable capacitors. A line similar to the capacitor symbol has been added at the end of the normal diode symbol. The varicap diode offers a capacitance whose value changes depending on the voltage, so it can be used like a regulated capacitor. This symbol is generally used for transformers that we can see in almost all electrical devices and power supplies that we use in our daily life. There are slight variations in their symbols, as there are so many variations. Transformers are used to increase or decrease the voltage and current level of any AC at the desired rate without changing its frequency. They are also known as transformers for short. With the principle of electromagnetic induction, they transfer energy from one circuit to another. High current with low voltages can be controlled with a relay, which is a magnetic switch. For example, a high-voltage AC circuit can be controlled with a 9-volt battery circuit connected to the coil part of the relay. The rectangle in its symbol represents the coil inside. The other parts represent normally open, common, and normally closed contacts. These symbols are also used for BJT transistors, which are the most important circuit element of electronics and serve as switching and amplification. The NPN above is the symbol of the PNP transistor below. Circuit symbols used for logic gates are as here. Each of the logic gates is integrated. Integrated circuits are also known as blocks and their names are written on them. Apart from these, there are many more circuit components. I tried to show the basics. Now, let's look at the circuit components through a simple electrical circuit diagram and finish the lesson. On the left, you can see the timer circuit made with a simple 555 IC, and on the right, this circuit is built on a breadboard. We see that fixed resistors are used in this circuit. Two capacitors, polar and nonpolar, are used. One LED and one switch are used. Finally, a 9-volt power supply was used to feed the circuit. The basic electrical and electronic circuit components and symbols are as follows. I hope it was helpful and you liked it. 
Hope to see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.